Hi guys, I thought I'd do my first reseller's tip video. Um, and this video, as you can probably tell by the title, is about selling seemingly unsaleable items for parts. And um, what I'm sort of getting at is, um, a lot of people have talked about this uh, in their videos, Nick, um, I think Sean's touched on it as well. Um, but basically, selling things that may be broken, bit parts of them may be broken, um, or, or missing parts and you can't really sell it as a whole. So for example, I have a board game here, Monopoly here and now, and it was missing the board. Um, I didn't check it properly and I got it home and it was missing the, the, the actual playing board. So I thought, is there a market for, I know that's the electronic banking version, is there a market for the actual electronic card machine and, and the six cards? Turns out there was, and you can get approximately six to eight pounds back for the um, electronic banking card machine and the, the six electronic cards. Um, so I thought, right, I'll sell that for, for parts, that, that board game. And then I could sell the houses as a lot. I don't know about the cards, but I'm going to look into that. Um, but also, as well, um, you can sell sort of board games for parts as in Trivial Pursuit and things of that nature. But a lot of board games you'll want to sell as a whole. Um, and an example of that would be maybe The Simpsons Monopoly or um, think games like Cluedo. Um, risk, things like that you'll want to sell as a whole. Um, but there's certain things that if if parts are missing or something's broken, don't just throw it away. I mean, this is a tip for probably the, the beginner resellers. I mean, I'd class myself as um, fairly novice at, at reselling. I've only been doing this for, well, ne nearly six months now. Um, but I'd still, still class myself as a beginner because there's so much to learn on the subject. Um, but yeah, it, it, this is really a tip for more beginner resellers. So if things are broken or there's a missing part in a board game or a Nerf gun or a toy or something of that nature, don't just throw it away because you may find that something is missing within a board game or there's a Nerf gun that the ammo clip doesn't work or the barrel is playing up. Um, don't just chuck them away or, se or sell them as spares or repairs. With a Nerf gun, if it is broken, you can sell the parts. So, for example, if it was just the ammo clip that was broken, you could sell. If it had a barrel on, you could sell the barrel and you could at least get your money back or a little bit of profit. And then the rest of it, you could sell as spares or repairs if you wanted to. Um, and with board games, if there's something missing, uh, like this example where there was just the board missing, you've got to sort of be proactive and look where you can make more money rather than just writing it off. I mean, there are times when you have to write off things, and I've had that in the past. It's been a, such a learning curve these last few months. And I've had probably 10, 20, maybe even 30 items I've just had to write off. Um, I know quite a few that I just, when I was early, uh, an early reseller, really, like, in the first couple of weeks, I was just buying things that I, I was sort of unsure on. And there was probably about five items or six items in that time when I was finding myself, finding what sells that um, I, I made mistakes on and I, I had to write them off and some items you just have to write off um, but if you think if you have any inkling that something even though there is a missing part or something within the game is broken you've got to think right can I sell this game for parts and it literally takes two minutes to go onto eBay search and sold and oh, Search sold and completed listings. My iPhone doesn't like me today. Um, search sold and completed listings, and basically, 
see if any of the parts from the board game sell. Or even if it's a Nerf gun, gun or certain other toys that can be broken down. Um, again, like Lego and things like that, you could certain parts may be broken in a set, but you could still sell the parts out of the set, the more special or desirable parts like the minifigures or or certain parts that are, are more desirable, um, like jumper plates or something like that, for more money, or or, or for uh, or get your money back at least. Um, so there's hundreds of different ways to do this, but the the best way is to sell something complete if you can. But really, if you're new to reselling, don't just throw away something that is missing a, a part or that is. Um, or that one part is broken. You've got to be a bit more proactive because you don't. If you did that all the time, you'd just be throwing away money. Um, because we all make mistakes, but you've got to think: How can I limit those mistakes? How can I sort of put a cap on those mistakes and stop some of them? Um, and the way to do that is being proactive and making sure you're doing so much research and and really looking at, at what you can sell and it's amazing what you can sell you can sell board games down to an individual piece like the, the pewter pieces in this you could sell uh, does this have oh no this doesn't have oh yeah it does yeah pewter pieces you could sell the pewter pieces in this and it, actually i don't know why i forgot this one had pewter pieces because i've listed the pewter pe pieces for this one but yeah you can sell anything really any board game down to its down to an individual part or or a group of parts at least um but yeah it it's amazing what you can sell and even things that are completely broken I, I mean i've sold games that are completely tattered and you wouldn't think would sell and i picked them up from a car boot for a quid or pound 50 something like that um, and then got £10 back. A prime example of that I showed in um, my recent sales update video where there was a, a, a Game of Life, I think it was 97 edition or some, something along those lines, and the box was completely in tatters. And I picked it up for a pound at a indoor car boot, um, and I managed to get, I think it was £9.90 odd, for it, £9.95 I think it was. So... There was a good five quid in that profit, and I only knew to pick that game up because I had had that before and I had done my research. And again, it's about that research. Um, but anyway, guys, it's just a little tip for sort of the beginner resellers, um, because a lot of resellers um, who are actually just starting out tend to make mistakes and. The way, just like I do, I mean, I still make mistakes because I, as I say, I still am beginning in this. Um, and I still make mistakes, but I try and look for the silver lining and sort of cap those mistakes now. Rather than just writing every every mistake off and saying, well, right, I'm just going to have to take a loss on that. Or just going to have to put that down to bad debt or, or st something like that. Um... But yeah, you've got to sort of do that. You've got to cap your mistakes or else you'd never make any money. You'd always be using your profits from some items to sort of fund your mistakes. Um, and that's not what you want to do. So anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more of these reseller type tip videos, I know a lot of other YouTubers do them. Um, just drop a comment below. If you like the video, like it. And if you didn't like it, doesn't bother me you can click that dislike button or is it down that way i don't know don't know which way i'm pointing um and as always subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video which is more than likely going to be a haul video as i've not done one in probably about a week now okay see you then guys